Super Dave here with another exciting Master Verse review, and that's right, a new Eternia Deluxe figure that is Clawful. And just take a look at Clawful in that awesome package. He's looking so neat with all kinds of accessories, looking good there. Just look at there. That is so awesome. And then there's that side artwork on the book end there that is so intimidating looks great look at that huge claw <laughs> and then there is that artwork on the back along with the other wave nine figures that we have reviewed on the channel go check that out just look at that awesome artwork and then there is the bio if you'd like to pause and read that now you can all right let's go ahead and break open this evil crustacean and check out this deluxe Colossal. Been looking forward to this one. And as we come inside of Snake Mountain along with these other evil villains to take a look at Clawful, let's first take a look at his accessories. And as we come together in this fortress of evil, Snake Mountain, to look at this crustacean of evil, Clawful, oh, we just look at all the enemies that have gathered here to meet with Skeletor to welcome the newest addition to the Masterverse and the deluxe Masterverse, New Eternia Colossal. And he first comes with an armband that is a shell with some spikes on it. And we'll include that with him here. We'll install that on him here in just a few moments. And he comes with his vintage style mace even with the handle guard as he's holding it there in his stage left claw. And then of course, he does not come with any other head sculpts, but we love the look of this menacing with his eyes almost whited out, but you can still see up close, you can see his pupils and those teeth. It would have been awesome to have gotten a head sculpt with an open mouth. Wouldn't that have been amazing? I don't think we've ever seen one of those other than the filmation, but man, that would have been cool. Maybe Hordak MX can make us one, but look at that huge claw that he comes with. So no need for any extra hands when you have such an awesome claw to take care of you. Then he comes with a gold shield and as I've heard others say I don't remember necessarily Clawful coming with a shield before but that is cool. We got that weapons pack shield that was really cool in the classics but then look at this likened to those fan inspired bio versions of Clawful and those bio cards you see a awesome back part of his shell with those menacing looking horns or whatever they are coming out looks very much like the bulk and the feel of the 2000X Mike Young production if you, if I had to say I don't think he necessarily had those I'm not sure but just the bulk and the feel of that that's going to be awesome and then he comes with a awesome harness chest armor harness and I have it hooked up to this flashlight so that you can see that that blue jewel is translucent it's transparent that's a gold uh, chest armor with a translucent jewel in the middle which is really neat looking and we'll see that on him here in just a moment but that rounds out his accessory so cool now let's take a look at Clawful's articulation and a closer look at him in both his classics form and his new Eternia form. 
Oh man, just look at this claw fall as we move him on in a little closer here. He is looking fabulous. Just take a gander of him all the way around. Just the texture on that giant claw itself. And then his just his shell, which is just fully a part of his torso on his back and on his chest instead of having another piece kind of wrapped around a buck like we had with classics and we'll look at that in comparisons but that is just you know all one part of his upper torso there's not something over top of another torso you have that that all that bulk is him and you have kind of that new Eternia style part that comes down the middle here that we've seen in new Eternia figures but still has that homage so to speak to that classics belt but instead of the free loin cloth going all the way around you have like a little crustacean shell part extending out in the front which is really neat of course this smaller claw over here on stage left and he looks really cool and i went ahead and strapped on his armband shell part that has the little spikes that come up there so neat just look at the details on his arm with the little spikes and the colorization as it goes from red claw into an orangish tone and then those legs are shared by him and buzz off as we kind of predicted as well as those feet which work great here uh, for both so that's not even something to even take away from anything it's just cool that they can share parts but a lot of this is new and it looks amazing again i love the head sculpt i won't sure how i like it but i really think they struck a great balance with this again it would have been cool if they had even given us an articulated jaw or at least a head sculpt with an open mouth which would have just been wicked but this is so neat in and of itself as a deluxe figure he's oversized because of that claw for the most part and then that awesome piece to go on his back which we'll look at in a moment but go ahead and start with his articulation let's go ahead and look at his head he's going to be able to look up a good amount he's going to be able to look down all the way he does not get any head tilt because it kind of sits low on his shoulders and so what i have done is i have been trying to kind of just work it down about middle way that peg so that it doesn't look so flush it gives him more of a neck uh, I just feel like that peg when you pop it all the way up in that ball sock all the way up in his head gives him a no neck look a little bit too close but that there again if you start doing too much with it you'll still be able to go, go up and go down with it on that but if you start doing that head pivot like I was trying to do it's either gonna go ahead and pop all the way on or pop off so that's just a little trick that I have done and of course you're still going to get get side to side motion so looking good on there and it still stays on really well but going on to the arms this side you still get 360 no no problems even with the armband on he's going to be able to go up at least 90 degrees there on that side he also has true bicep swivel even if you strap on this portion here which i really like that touch i just i'm so glad they included that that's really neat just gives it a pop here on his left side i like it and then this side does the same thing as far as you're still going to be able to get the 360 even with a little bit of a overhang there in his shoulder pad here and man this was a figure that really could have benefited from butterfly joint going back and forth here in my opinion but still it looks good and you can still get good articulation bicep swivel as you can see he'll go all the way up to 90 now here we go look at this this side you're gonna also be able to swivel that big claw and of course open it really big to grab hold of the neck or the head or even around the midsection of a smaller figure wow that is just so intimidating just and, and my shoulder on this side is really tight and i don't want it to break but just look at that just amazing it's just going to come at you push, 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 push. just really really detailed and really nice all the way around there on that claw just so cool just look at the detail on there i love the way it looks and that is so neat going back over here on this side this claw also swivels at the wrist and also articulates open all the way as you can see so you're going to again be able to grab things like his mace 
and or around somebody's neck or grab their arm you're gonna be able to do whatever you want to and grab items or tools or weapons but or his shield so that's really cool speaking of his shield that shield because it has similar to all the other ones the big loop here and the smaller loop there you can just pop that smaller claw in there and it snaps in place and then voila our clawful has a cool shield that's really neat really look forward to looking at him alongside of the weapons pack classics shield that was meant for clawful as well and we'll look at that in comparisons but let's go ahead and check out the rest of his articulation he's going to crunch forward really good and remember we've said that they have definitely improved the diaphragm joint in wave nine as this guy is a part of wave nine one of the deluxe figures and then look he crunch uh, bends back really well and just check this out he's going to be able to tilt side to side really good and do the full turn a real smooth like a nice tripod all the way around really nice they have definitely improved the diaphragm in wave 9 bravo plus you get the waist swivel you're gonna get full splits like we've been seeing he has the thigh cut he'll be able to get up good about 90 degrees double jointed knees boot cut foot goes all the way up and down and excellent rockers as you saw as he did that spread it out uh, stance at the beginning of our articulation so man this guy is jacked with excellent articulation from head to toe I am really really pleased with this clawful I'd give him a 10 out of 10 just for his articulation excellent job masterverse Mattel you're doing great and I love the way this clawful has turned out now let's go ahead and strap on his new Eternia pieces and check that out and there he is looking amazing with his chest armor with that translucent blue jewel I just love what they're doing with that just so neat so Eternia especially when you think of the princes of power and all the jewels that they had in their shields and different things it's just neat to kind of see that uh, those jewels appear and it makes you feel like maybe they come with powers you know the jewels mean different things that have powers or crystals so that is kind of a neat idea and this one just goes over his head you don't even have to take his head off to get that on and then it just straps right here with the two very masters of the universe style buckles and then you can also see he has the clip so you can clip his mace right onto his back which is really neat but what we all want to see is this baby here this awesome crustacean style back armor that is so cool and all you have to do to put that on is just pop off his head so you do have to remove his head and then just snap that around in place like so and it just kind of uh, snaps into that piece on the inside where you could put the mace here if you're not wearing this back shell but if you are wearing the back shell as you can see down in there there's that piece that just clips on to that same exact so just bravo for the reuse of that back there that is so neat and then I'm just gonna wiggle that head back on there it kind of gives him a collar look which that is really neat I've not really noticed that as I've looked at this figure before in other reviews but that is really neat I love the way that collar just kind of accents his uh, look with this on and that piece back there just take a look at him from the back man that is menacing that is that just adds to the value but man that is just so wicked and awesome looking there with that that and there's a metallic shine to it and it and then a matte finish to the red it's just oh man I mean that just gives you that crustacean feel and then the menacing look of it coming out over his shoulders just bravo I'm just gonna go ahead and say it I give this figure a 10 out of 10 that's right I'm gonna give this figure this clawful deserves a 10 out of 10 yes I haven't done that since our evil Lynn dark Lynn but this guy is awesome and I just think that he's worthy of it a 10 out of 10 for this clawful yes sir this guy is amazing his articulation his look his aesthetics equality his 
oh man, his articulation and his overall equipment, his, his accessories, and then just, man, just having the ability to put on that shell on the back, oh man, you just can't ask for anything more. That just, I mean, that alone is worth the price of admission just to get this in hand and see how oh cool that is. All right, let's go ahead and do some comparisons. And here is our Clawful next to his Classics counterpart. And again, the Classics is a little shorter. He did have the really cool shield. I was wrong. He did not. That shield did not come in the weapons pack. It did come with this figure. This is the one that came in the weapons pack, the green one. But uh, it's just like the one that came with him, except it's green there. And so there is a shell over his buck. And there is texture on that that buck. They did use a new buck on him overall, but they did put a shell over that existing buck, which gave him a uh, pretty good thickness there, as you can see. But this guy has that thickness and that bulk without there being a separate piece around him. Notice this head sculpt on here, and I'm not remembering which one, but there uh, came with which, but uh, it could have been this one. This one is either the one that came with him or this is the one that was in the Classics head pack. Um, so there was this one and then there was this one. One of them came in the head pack. I believe it was this one that came on the actual figure, but I'm not 100% sure. But you can see the difference here. I'll show you that when we um, turn back around here. Just see, show you what the back of these look like. You can see where those pegs peg in where that shell is over top of his shell where and then this one is just the actual mold of his his torso you can see the small of his back has some detail again that masterverse style belt that goes all the way around and there is a little bit of a difference to it as we've been seeing in the masterverse line when it comes to the front of the belt which is really cool and that part of the loin cloth that's more of a shell instead of just your regular loin cloth like we normally see right there so just really neat and again this one has the actual added addition of that arm piece the armband with the the shield the the, the shell part to it and um, just go ahead and give you a quick look at the difference here of those face sculpts and we could definitely try these on clawful here in a minute but let's go ahead and look at him with his new Eternia look now and just out of curiosity, I wanted to see what he looked like with that other shield that came with that weapons pack, because I've never used that shield. And that actually looks good. You could actually give him some color with that green shell there. Or I could put that green shell uh, shield with my Croc Man, which I just did a review in figures, play sets, and accessories that go well with Motu Classics and Masterverse. You can check out that review. But just take a look at those two, but uh, we'll switch a roo and see what they look like. Oh yes, I really like that shield with him. That it certainly beats this one. <laughs> but this one's cool and very neat. And I like the color and the quality of it and the way it pops on him and it does match his armor, chest armor, but I really like that that going with that because look you have those metallic little horns around it that match the horns on his back so I really like that that is really cool and then this one fits him as well so yeah overall I think that is really cool the way these figures have turned out and this is the definitive I mean you know man classics they, they just had the quality and the look but master verses they're getting better I know some of the articulations little little still you know not as appealing as what we see here but look we don't have pins on the legs or on the arms as you've seen before but man I just really like this clawful I'm very excited and pleased with him so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is my definitive clawful and I like him with all the cool accessories on him too definitely could lose the chest shield and give him that classics look and still keep the back shell you can do that um, it just wouldn't have the piece to snap on in the back but it still goes around his neck so you can do that we'll look at that in just a moment matter of fact let's do that now and try one of the classics heads on as well oh wow that does look awesome just <laughs> i really like that head sculpt on here uh, just to give you an idea of the difference here that's the one that came with him 
and there's the one that came with the classics or possibly with that uh, heads pack not sure which one of these two both of these are classics head the one that's on this classic body and this is a classics head that's on this new Eternia Masterverse clawful but yeah I really like this one too like the way they whited out those eyes just to give it that realism and you can still see we'll see if I can get up close here so you can still yeah you can still see the pupils see the pupils the way they did those that is just so neat mysterious looks like they glow naturally you get up close you can really see the detail there so I really like this head but I really like that one too on this body so if you have that one you can certainly use that or the one that came with it be fine just as well but you can see how they look there and you've got to have that back piece on I think <laughs> you just got to but you don't have to have the front and it and it holds just fine around the neck as you see there so it'll work without the piece now it will it will flop around a little little worse since it don't have the ability to hold on to that chest armor but it doesn't become a problem as you're posing him around and using him it's fairly sturdy just with the neck attachment holding it on really cool really nice I mean just look at these guys again those claw I mean his claw is definitely bigger than this claw and this claw does open but it doesn't stay open it kind of springs forward I had to use some putty at times to get mine to stay open where this one is pretty tight and will will stay open remain open if you open and close or articulate it so that is just so cool and here's clawful uh, alongside of some of his other new Eternia Masterverse figures both of these are deluxe figures the too bad and the clawful here our merman was not but he is definitely decked out I like him you can check out my review on that merman the classic style merman man that clawful just looks awesome next to merman and too bad so awesome bravo and here is clawful next to new Eternia beast man as well as that awesome for a planet croc man or crocker is his actual name but i'm calling him croc man for my motu villain go along with skeletor and, and clawful and merman i just love it and uh, you might remember if you saw my review on crocker or croc man as i'm calling him he had jeans on and i have put some little leather strips and painted those pants a brownish color which definitely make him fit more into the mythos look of Motu. He's got uh, some some light and dark brown paint, matte paint, along with just a little pieces of leather strips that I glued on to those pants just to give him uh, a neat look. So man that is so cool. He's looking menacing alongside of Clawful and Merman. This 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 group right here of of sea slash swamp slash river dwellers could definitely you know do some damage and go together and and I think that is really cool I like that I love the way that looks and you can see he is you know right there with Beast Man Beast Man may be just a little bit taller but he has that presence of that jumbo and that big wide thick. Uh, deluxe figure so I'm very pleased with that and then that big old claw I mean he definitely fits the bill so that is just <laughs> so so neat so cool awesome man oh man these figures are just rounding out to be so awesome there he is beside new Eternia faker but I do have the revelation faker chest armor strapped onto him instead of the purplish pink one but there you have a lot of the core villains that were the henchmen of Skeletor Stinkor, Spikor, Faker, Beast Man, now Clawful, Merman, Too Bad and just look at them we've got we, we do have um, Trapjaw back there at the at the table of uh, uh, of foreteller or whatever I don't know that big spooky table and then also Triclops up there in the tech room working on getting some things done and then Spidor or actually it's web store sorry <laughs> web store and he's coming out in wave 10 I do believe so man these guys are just looking so cool there 
is Grizzlore right there alongside of Too Bad and our San Diego Comic Con exclusive two pack Skeletor. I hope everybody will have a chance to get this guy because he is so cool with the articulated jaw and I love that head sculpt. It is just the best. I think and his chest armor just a really good quality to this one but anyway there's our clawful and please like if you've enjoyed this video subscribe if you've not done so stay tuned for more as Ram Man should be on his way soon and also comment if you have something to share and we'll look forward to seeing you next time on another Super Dave Review stay tuned for some photos in the photo gallery. Be blessed.